Let's get our coffee going first. So every time I make rice for dinner, I have leftover rice because I make a little bit more than I need. And the reason why I make a little bit more is because I love making fried rice the following morning for breakfast. So I'm gonna walk you through how I do it and I use everything that I just have laying around. Before anything, I always heat up my cast iron pan. So I have one for the fried rice itself and one for my egg. I like frying an egg lacy style over easy lacy. I'll show you what I mean, but I like doing that instead of scrambling the egg and incorporating that into the fried rice. And then I'll add, this is my secret ingredient. These are Szechuan peppercorns. They are amazing. They don't add too much heat, but they do have this zing to them. So kind of like a numbing situation. So if you take a sip of flat water, it'll taste kind of sparkly. So I'll add about a teaspoon of this to my cast iron. You can't really skip this step because you have to bloom the spices. So you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more than that. So maybe two teaspoons. And I'm smelling it now. It's a little bit floral-y. It doesn't take that long to bloom. And then what I'm gonna do is add it to my pestle and mortar. And then turn the heat a little bit down. And then before grinding this up, I'm just gonna let it cool down so the oils kind of seep back in. I always have some onions already chopped or not chopped in cilantro or green onion in a container like this, kind of like a food prep situation. So I'm just gonna use what I have in here. If you wanna use garlic, now is the time. I just have a quarter of an onion, barely. Um, so I'm just gonna dice that up. I'm gonna add some neutral oil to my pan. And then take the onions and add that in. And at this point, if you have garlic, shallots, um, I don't know, green onion, you can add that too, but I don't have any of that. Well, I have garlic, so I'm kind of lazy. This is a lazy girl's breakfast. Spatula. I'm going to mix that up. And then my secret is that I always have some frozen veggies. This is good old Kirkland brand and it opens up top and this will last me quite a while. So I have like this much left and I've had it for a couple months or so. It's a mix of carrots, sweet corn, peas, and green beans. So I'm just gonna take a handful of that while still frozen and drop that in. I'm gonna turn the heat on for my smaller cast iron. Turn the heat on medium because I don't want the onions to burn. But I do want the vegetables to fry, so yeah, it's not high, which a lot of people will say to do. Once the vegetables get kind of brown, I'm going to add some pineapple, a handful. So when you're cooking, the outer perimeter of the pan has the most heat, right? So I want to push the vegetables to the outer perimeter. I don't really have any good meat right now, so I'm just going to use some salt and put it into small pieces. Since the ham's already cooked, I'm just going to add it to the center of the pan to warm up a little bit. And add some oil to my smaller pan. Turn the heat down a little bit more. I'm cracking egg in. Let's add that in. And then in goes our leftover rice. Look at the bottom of this. This is my favorite part. Yeah, the egg looks really good. I'll take off the heat. White pepper, a lot of it. MSG, just a little bit of it, maybe like a teaspoon amount. Some soy sauce, maybe like a tablespoon or two. And then also some sesame oil. good so I'm gonna add this right on top and then mix it in but the heat is off we're gonna use this bowl which Jason made scoop some rice in there and then the fried egg this is what I mean by a lacy egg so it's fried on the outside super crispy but still kind of jelly in the center and then I like to add some food gake right on top 
And then the queen herself, Laugenma. And drizzle from above. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna let the yolk provide a beautiful, rich sauce for me. I must try this. Look how colorful. Itadakimasu. Mm. I'm so glad I remembered to add the pineapple because this is amazing. I think I add a little bit too much white pepper, but it's totally fine. And I can definitely feel the zing of the Szechuan peppercorns. I love the convenience of the frozen vegetables. The raw onion at the end is a nice textural change. Salty and sweet, saucy, but also crispy. Give this a go. If you already make fried rice regularly, let me know what you do, because I would love to try it out. And every time I make fried rice, it changes each time, you know? So this isn't written in stone or anything. It's just using whatever ingredients I have in my fridge. Thanks for watching. Send me pics of how you make your fried rice, and um, I'll see you later. Bye.